I know that you have one more game left here, but up to this point, how would you assess how your rookie season's gone? Uh, just been a test, you know, trials and tribulations, and uh, I think it was it was it was a good. I would say it was a lot of good things, you know, just to build my character, and I feel like everything happened for a reason. Martin, and then Jeff McLean. Hey, Jalen, I know um, you you and the other rookie receivers obviously didn't have like an off season last year to kind of, you know, get acclimated to the NFL and everything. I mean, as much as you know, not playing beyond this week probably, you know, hurts you and everything. How much are you kind of looking forward to having a full off season and what kind of things do you, how do you think that'll help you going forward? I mean, I'm pretty sure like y'all know how to help. Just the more you do things, the more repetition, the more chemistry and the more of a bond that you gain is always better. And uh, getting the off season, being able to do OTAs and everything. I mean, it's only going to make us better because we'll be around each other more. So it's kind of self-explanatory. And then John McMullen. Hey, John, uh, for the second week in a row, you, you ran a post route into the end zone and, and, and was open, and John kind of just missed you both times. What has been the issue on that particular route, and uh, what have you guys done to try and improve it? Um, it's just timing. Uh, Jalen, I mean, that wasn't necessarily Jalen missed me. It was just, you know, us trying to take a shot and, you know, it, that you know it didn't it didn't complete so it wasn't necessarily like he just missed me so uh, like I said just timing we've we've been together you know a short time so we'll only get better and those things will become you know night and day. John and then Les. Hey, hey Jalen, uh, happy New Year first of all. But uh, uh, everybody talks about. Uh, the leap from college to pros now that you've been through it. Uh, what, have, what have you learned about NFL quarterbacks, uh, cornerbacks? What's the big difference? And uh, is it really, uh, are is they really corner as or quarterbacks? Corner, 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 cornerbacks, opposing cornerbacks and, and learning how to go against them. Um, You just got to know that Usually when you're playing in college, like I said before, like you're playing against guys that's been there at the most four years. you playing against guys that's been in the league eight, like, you know, nine, ten years, like Patrick Pete, Like he's seen everything. So you just got to, you know, what I've learned is you just got to, you got to work more on your craft and put more in the toolbox because, you know, they pretty much seen everything you, you know, you're probably going to throw at them. So you just got to, you know, add more things to your arsenal and then just try, you know, try to, Excel at what you do. Lesson and Zach. Hey, Jalen. So how would you evaluate your rookie year in terms of, uh, you know, what you wanted to do when, when you got started and what you were able to do? Uh, and, and I know you don't like the comparisons with the other guys, but, you know, you're going to be evaluated as a class. Uh, where do you think you fit in in that group, if you have any thoughts about that at all? Um, I don't compare because we're not in the same situation. So, yeah. you know, everybody's in different situations. Uh, you know, we look – people just look at stats and, you know, whatever, whatever. But I was drafted day one. So, like I said, it's self-explanatory, and it's a reason why I was drafted day one. And, Yeah. But what about what you did this year? Are you, what do you think? Are, are you happy with it? Did, no, what's your it, it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough for the team. It wasn't enough personally. So, you know, you just got to keep improving. And, uh, you know, you just sometimes you got you to gotta look look yourself in the mirror and then you you see where you can improve. And, uh, I mean, that's all you can do is, is, is incline. And that's what I look to do. Time for a few more, so we'll go Zach, Jamie, and Dave. Hey, Jalen, how much difference do you think your season would have been if you didn't miss those five games? Could you repeat that? I can hear you. I'm sorry. How much difference do you think your season would have been if you, if you did not miss those five games with injury? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, that's 
that's something that nobody will ever know because I wasn't able to play those five games. And uh, if I was, I feel like it'd be more time. And, I mean, that's that's big, missing five games. And, you know, I mean, I got hurt before that, and then I came back the first game. I, was supposed to, I wasn't even supposed to come back then. So, I mean, you know, some tough breaks, you know, some bumps in the road. But, I mean, that's why I say I feel like it built my character because, you know, it's different. When you, you, when you go through things, it builds you up. And, you know, I feel like my lows are uh, going to prepare me for my highs. So, I mean... I'm not worried. This is my first year. If y'all, if if you know, if if I'm gonna sit here and, and bash myself about one, you know, one year, not even a complete year. I mean, you know, I'm looking to play years. So, I mean, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be just fine. Last two here with Jamie and Dave. Uh, Dylan, you guys have an interesting situation uh, this weekend, given that um, you know you don't necessarily have anything to play for, but you can keep either Washington or Dallas or however it falls out of the playoffs. Uh, what is the mentality going into this one? What have you guys talked about as a team? Win. <laughs> Every week. Nothing has changed. It's because, I mean, it's, we say you, we don't have nothing to play for. I mean, we have – we got to go out on the right note. So, it's nothing has changed. It's the same, same attitude um, regardless of who plays. We're trying to win. Last one here with Dave, and then we'll get Boston in here. Hey, Jen, you, you obviously mentioned some of the adversity with the injuries. What was the toughest part of that? Was it physical or mental? Uh, mental. Physical, I mean, I was blessed. Uh, mentally, it's just like, you know, so many setbacks. You get back, then oh, here comes another setback. And both of my injuries are like one in a million. How I hurt my shoulder, the way I landed. I mean, that's I've never landed like that in my life. And my thumb, I was just making a catch and, you know, tore my UCL in my thumb. So it was like, it's mental. But, I mean, like I told y'all back when I did get hurt, if you want to get back and the way you prepare and the way you do things, I mean, you know, the, the it, it doesn't rain forever. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I mean, it was mental and, you know, who I mean, if – if you're going to let one of those things define you, then you know you're in it for the wrong reason. And, you know, that's some a part of the game that you can't control. As you look back on this season, I know it's not what you guys expected, not what you guys wanted. Where do you feel like the breakdown came, specifically looking at the offense? Was it execution, communication, problems in the offseason? What do you think handed you guys this season? I mean, I think it's just, you know, I, I've kind of alluded to this before, but offense, you know, it's, it's, it's a machine. You know what I mean? It's no one person's fault. You know, 11 guys on the field uh, all have to um, – operate in unison you know we all got to be on the same page we all have to communicate and at the end of the day we all just have to execute um and to be honest man the the pieces are there you know what I mean it's just mistakes you know what I mean whether it's pre-snap penalties or whatever it may be uh, I just think that we need to be more disciplined and we we just overall got to execute we'll go to Chris Franklin next Hey, Boston. Uh, how would you assess your play this season? What do you feel like you have to work for for the next upcoming season? Uh, I think that there's a lot of things that I need to work on, man. Um, you know, I, I definitely want to work on being more versatile, being able to um, come out of the backfield, you know, improve on the route tree and things like that. Also in pass protection, you know, just um, – Again, coming back to that communication, just being in dialed into what's going on with the offensive line, um, and then also uh, taking the next step in, you know, breaking down in the film, you know, just knowing like what the defense has given us, where it could potentially come from. But overall, just uh, working on uh, myself mentally, uh, under, understanding the game better uh, as we go forward, because I know I've definitely had some mistakes in that area. Um, but oh, there, there are a lot of things that I could that I can improve on, and I'll be looking to improve on those things in this uh, upcoming offseason. Go ahead, Les. Hi, Boston. Uh, the kick return game never really got going this year. Uh, how frustrating was that, and, and what did you see there? What was what was happening? Well, I, I think that, you know, it's, it, it's a unit, man. It's a unit. Again, it's like offense, you know what I mean? When all 11 guys are executing, 
uh, we're all doing our responsibilities, you know, the, the play the play can be successful. And, you know, we've had some we've had some success this year. You know, we've had some uh, penalties on the play that that have negated the returns. But uh, there are some explosive returns that we've had this year. But again, it just comes to uh, getting those repetitions in over and over again uh, that allows the unit to be successful. You know, we we've, we put some good things out there, but again, you know, it just comes down to being disciplined. Um, you know, and like I said, we're we're a unit, so you know, uh, all eleven of us, uh, we have to execute better. Thank you. Are there any other questions for Boston? Go ahead, Martin. Hey, Boston. Um, I was kind of curious. I mean, ever since Jalen Hurts kind of took over at quarterback, have you noticed like a difference in like how the running game operates? I mean, are do you feel like you guys have more lanes to work with? You know, you and and Miles and and maybe even Jalen Hurts himself. Um, what, what kind of things have you noticed since he's taken over? I think Jalen and Carson both have done a good job of running the football. Uh, I think that defenses honor both of them uh, whenever whenever running. Um, I think that uh, fundamentally uh, the running backs have gotten better with squaring our shoulders uh, whenever we're running inside zone or outside zone or whatever it may be, you know, keying into our fundamentals. And I think that that's really helped us out in the run game. If you had to sum up, the Eagles defense this year, what, what would you say? How would you characterize this year defensively? Uh, I would say hard, you know, hardworking, uh, dedicated, uh, and caring. I think, you know, it not it didn't always go our way, you know, in the season. I think, you know, ups and downs, uh, you know, as a team in general. But I think as a defense, uh, no matter what the situation was, we played hard uh, and did the things, did the things we expected of each other on that, you know, you don't want to disappoint the guy next to you. Yeah, you might have made, you know, a mental mistake. You might have, you you might have blown your coverage. Something might have happened. But I don't think anyone, you know, physically ever gave up on each other. And I think that's, you know, a tough thing to say on a team, you know, with a record that we have. You know, I, I think it's something that we can definitely hang our hats on. That, you know, from a peer perspective of just, you know, caring about playing for one another. I think we did that this year. Thank you, Damo, and then Kristen. Happy New Year, Alex. Alex, a, a COVID-related question for you. Uh, so much of football is is camaraderie, hanging around, hanging with your teammates in the locker room, in meetings. Uh, that sense of oneness, you don't get that this year with with this. How frustrating and unfulfilling is that? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, it's you know, it's the best part of the day is kind of just being in the locker room, hanging out with the guys. I think it's why. You know, I, I still remember, you know, when I was bouncing around, you know, forever ago, the coolest thing to me was when I went to New England for two weeks, like Tom Brady was like 40 and he walked in the locker room and was like, you know, just, you know, heckling guys. And it was like, man, this dude is, you know, just a, another guy, even though he's got, you know, all that other stuff outside of football and he's this famous dude. But the locker room is just, it's still just the guys. And I think, you know, losing that this year, uh, you, you feel it and, you, you know, you miss it. And even though we're here every day, you know, kind of doing everything, once we've gone kind of fully virtual in meetings, I mean, this is as much time as, you know, we spend with each other. You know, we only get the hour today. So uh, you do miss it. it. It sucks. And I and I hope for 2021 for it to be a little more normal. Even see you guys around. It would be nice. Kristen and then Ed. Hey, Alex, Happy New Year. This has been one of the, the biggest roles that you've been able to step in this season. I'm curious if you can look back and reflect on what this journey has been like for you and what where you feel like you've grown stepping into this role this year. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's obviously, you know, a, a huge difference. I think, you know, week one and two and stuff, you know, I was playing, you know, 20 plays and now, you know, it's like 90 something a week. Uh, you know, I think just one is being able to step into the role and, you know, in my opinion, do what the coaches have wanted me to do, you know, be able to, you know, take control. I think Mike is one of the, you know, hardest spots, you know, in a defense to be able to, you know, call the plays, line everybody up, especially with the guys that we have here. I mean, every level has all pro guys. So, it, you know, you got to earn their trust to be able to even go out there and give them calls. So I think, you know, being able to do that and then just, you know, playing and just becoming more confident as the weeks go, you know, obviously we still have one more game and, you know, I'm, more confident than ever to go out there this week against Washington and, you know, do do what, you know, whatever the coaches asked me to do and uh, go out there and, you know, play hopefully a, another good game. Ed and then Bob. Hey, Alex. Um, appreciate you saying you miss having us around. That's pretty awesome. Um, 
I just want to uh, – what would it mean for you to lead the team in tackles? I mean, you haven't even played every game. I know the team goals are probably kind of out the window. But as a, from a personal standpoint, what does that mean to you to be over 100 tackles and uh, to lead this team in tackles? Oh, it's pretty cool. You know, uh, yeah, you know, and I always talk about, you know, that tackling inclusion, you know, thing that I did for Special Olympics. I think that, you know, I know, you know, I see all the tweets about, you know, all the, you know, the last time a linebacker did it and all that stuff. But to me, it really matters, you know, the most that I'm able to give back so much to the community because of it. Uh, I know originally, you know, they projected me to have like 12 tackles. So, you know, to come out and have, you know, over 100, uh, it, it's special and it means a lot. You know, I think it just you know, a tribute to, you know, every trainer I've had in my career, you know, the coaches trusting me, you know, the guys around me, like I said, you know, believing in me to be able to make those plays. Uh, but yeah, you know, uh, on a, yeah, on a personal goal, yeah, obviously, you know, I'm happy with it. Uh, you know, uh, there's uh, so much, you know, as a player, you only really remember the bad from a season and especially one like this. And, you know, you just want to build for the next one, but you know, it'll, it'll be something that I think, you know, as I get older, you know, I'll be pretty happy that I was able to do. Thanks. Go ahead, Bob. Alex, um, obviously uh, you wanted to be playing for the NFC East pennant this week, the, the division title. But um, all eyes are going to be on this game because of, um, you know, the ramifications with Washington. The, you know, the Giants will be walk, watching too and, and the Cowboys. How strange is that? What, how, how do you feel about that whole deal? I think it's exciting. You know, uh, we, you know, whoever, whoever's going to dress on Sunday, I think, you know, we're going to go out and, we kind of, you know, every, like you said, everyone gets to be watched. So it's a Sunday night game. And, you know, for whatever reason, we played pretty well on prime time. So that's a, you know, a step in our direction. And, you know, we can, you know, we can ruin, you know, as, you know, the coach has been saying, it's a no hat, no hat zone at the link this weekend. So we're just trying to, you know, make sure that, you know, no one's celebrating on, you know, on our field and in Philadelphia. And, you know, it, it'll be, it'll just be fun. You know, there's no pressure on us and all the pressures on Washington. And I think, you know, it just last year, you know, when I was, you know, here and obviously, you know, just being around the guys, I think there's been a lot of pressure uh, this time of the year on this team. So I think it's, it's going to be just, you know, nice and exciting to see how everybody plays, just kind of relax and just, you know, getting after it and playing football. All right, we'll take one more here with EJ. Hey, Alex, I'm just curious, who's been your toughest matchup this year? Man, that's a that's a tough a tough question. You know, I honestly I would say the hardest ones was early on. Uh, you know, Pittsburgh when I you know finally I think you know that was the first week I was slated as like a starter. You know, when we had the injuries, I think just you know I guess I was just more nervous that week than you know I have been. You know, just going in and you know getting to know that I'm going to be in on defense. You know, it was easy in San Fran when it was just like, hey, it's your turn, and all of a sudden you're out there and you're playing. You know, you can't really think about it or anything. I think the Steelers week, especially, you know, where they were in the season and kind of where we were, I think it was just one of those like, man, you know, everyone's obviously calling, saying you're going to be a starter and, you know, that kind of. But, yeah, I would definitely say them and, you know, those Saints running backs were also uh, pretty good in my opinion. I wanted to ask you, I mean, obviously you came here as a free agent, probably expecting this team to be to be much better than it is. Does any part of you regret deciding to come here? No, it's really, it's really no regret for me. Um, like you say, I did expect a lot more, but it was just one of them years, I guess. And um, I just look forward to trying to improve and um, making us better into next year. Matt Berman and then Les Bowen. Hey, Javon, happy new year. So uh, you're one of the guys who, who like if you can confidently say we'll be back next season. Um, what's it going to take for you to show those improvements to, to, to be the player you know you are? I mean, it's just, I just got to get better. Um, you know, this year ain't really go, I guess, like how everybody picture it. But as a player, it's just um, trying to do everything I can to make myself better and, you know, just push from there. Just start with that and, you know, look forward to it. And so, and, so, and so what is that specifically? Is it scheme related? Is it refining your game? What, what needs to be better next year? It's, it's, it's everything. Um, you can never really be, I guess, your best self. So it's just looking for ways to improve. Um, you know, just going back on film and just looking at ways that I could have did some things better. So I just kind of look forward to just, you know, sitting down and watching that and just seeing what I can improve until next year. Lesson and John McMullen. Hey, Javon. 
Uh, when Fletch went down Sunday, uh, it looked like things changed completely <laughs> for the defense. Uh, that's your position, obviously, defensive tackle. How did you see it? Were you guys able to step up uh, in his absence the way you would like to have? I mean, I think we could have did a lot better, but I don't think it was really no drop when Fletch went out. <laughs> um, I think all of us kind of played good as a unit. Um, they did some things to kind of slow us down by, um, you know, getting the ball out quick and things like that. But, yeah, I don't really see – I ain't really see no drop from anybody. Um, I feel like a lot of guys uh, really rose to the occasion and um, performed. John and then Ed Kratz. Hey, Javon. Uh, happy New Year to you. Uh, as a veteran player, how do you handle this type of situation? Obviously, uh, Washington comes in with everything to play for. Uh, Jim has kind of mentioned that no hat rule. Uh, how do you guys try to get up and handle this type of game? I mean, it's really easy. Uh, we could, you know, as a kid, everybody dreamed of playing on uh, Sunday night football. So to be able to come come for our last game to play on Sunday night football in front of the entire world. It's, it's real easy to get up for games like that um, and just to be a part of a big game like this. So I don't think um, I'm really not worried about trying to motivate anybody. I think everybody's going to be motivated and trying to prove themselves. Ed Kratz and then Paul Domowicz. Hey, Javon. Um, just your first year with Jim Schwartz as your defensive coordinator, just um, – you know, what were your impressions of him as a coach? Uh, you know, and I don't know if you got to know him off the field, given the circumstances, but what, what's your impressions of, of Jim as a coach? Yeah, I love Jim um, for the simple fact that he he really loved the D-lineman. Uh, so I really I really love Jim this year because um, I definitely love his scheme because it's definitely something I, I think I'm going to really enjoy, um, really enjoy from being here. So... No, I, I ain't really get to know him off the field, of course, because of the COVID stuff. But as a coach, he's just somebody, you know, who expect be it from all of us. And if any man go down, he expect the other man to step up and perform. So I really um, love playing for him this year. Amo? Javon, you, meant, you just mentioned that you didn't really get a chance to, to know Jim, to get to know Jim this year because of the setup with COVID. Has, has that been the most frustrating thing beyond the wins and losses has that been the most frustrating part of trying to play football during this whole setup is, is just no interaction with people it's definitely frustrating um not being able to you know uh you know bond with your teammates and getting close with my teammates just from the simple fact that i was kind of new this year um i i really don't think i know everybody on the team and that's that's just crazy to me um but it's just it was just one of them years. It was a crazy year. That's all I can say. And I know I ain't the only one who went through it. So I ain't going to really use it as an excuse. Rookie year's winding down here. Um, last few games, you've really kind of hit your stride. I mean, how, how would you assess uh, how this rookie season has gone for you? Um, honestly, it's been, you know, it's been up and down and different. But honestly, I, I'm blessed I had this opportunity. And uh, blessed I had this, you know, these last few games to show my talent. Go ahead, Martin, and then Dave. Hey, Quez. Um, obviously, you and, and Jalen and, and John Hightower, I mean, you didn't have the benefit of, you know, the full offseason last last spring and summer. How much are you kind of like looking forward to that? And how much do you think that can help you, um, you know, especially getting ready for next season? Uh, honestly, it's, it's going to be good because right now we got an opportunity to know what we need to work on and uh, know the small details and really learn from my experience of playing and uh, just, you know, being around the guys. And then we know, like, uh, different people we can go work with and, um, like, we can get with the quarterbacks and stuff like that. We just all have a different connection. And if I could follow up, like, how much do you think not having that kind of set you guys back? I mean, I know you also had the injury and everything, but do you think that kind of, like – you know, made it a little more difficult for you guys to adjust? Um, honestly, I feel like it might have gave us, you know, a slower start. But at the end of the day, we're professionals, and uh, we came to the league to be a professional. So we we got we got to handle our business, and I feel like we did. Go ahead, Dave, and then Les. 
Hey, Quiz. It, it seems like you've obviously been playing pretty well the last couple of weeks. In a way, is it a little frustrating that the season's about to end now that you've kind of hit your stride a little bit? Uh, honestly, yeah, it's always frustrating when you're not going to, you know, going to the playoffs or whatever. But um, at the end of the day, honestly, I'm just, I'm glad I could show something, um, have an opportunity to, you know, put some on tape and uh, and move forward to next year. What do you want to do in the off season? Hone in on my details and uh, and master my craft. <laughs> Go ahead, Les. Hey, Quez. Do you think you should have gotten a bigger chance earlier? Um, honestly, you know, how the cards was played, how they was dealt, um, I can't complain. I can't uh, can't say I wish I would have did this, I wish I would have did that. Um, but I know, you know, the opportunity is in front of me now, so I'm going to keep, keep fighting. I know the season hasn't really gone uh, the way you guys had hoped, but you got your first um, taste of some defensive snaps. Uh, how, do, how do you think – uh, how do you think that went for you? Uh, you know, it, it was great to get out there, get a little bit of experience, uh, you know, something to build on moving forward. Um, like you said, the season definitely hasn't gone how we wanted, but um, we're going to keep fighting until the end. Uh, I know that. Go ahead, John, and then Martin. Hey, Joe. Jordan calls you smoking, Joe. But uh, when he does that, he gives you tremendous credit uh, for helping him develop from pretty much square one, how much pride do you take in, in helping those young offensive uh, tackles um, get ready? Yeah, I mean, uh, we've helped each other really um, since coming in three years ago. Uh, obviously, Jordan's situation was a little bit unique coming from Australia. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm honored that uh, I've helped him grow as a player. Um, and he's done the same for me in a huge way. He's a great, uh, great teammate, uh, great person, great guy to work with. Um, so I feel like we've, we've both come a long way working together. Go ahead, Martin, and then Daniel. Hey, Joe, I was, I was actually going to ask you, I was going to ask you that question, but um, I guess now, you know, you've kind of come a long way. I mean, you had the knee surgery, like the summer before last and everything, and just kind of what this whole process has been like for you to get to this point where you're, you know, you're playing and stuff on the defensive line. Yeah, it's it's been a ride, um, really my whole whole career. Uh, I would say, going through that injury last year um, it was something different for me. Uh, you know, I hadn't had an injury that required surgery uh, up to that point. Um, so going through the ACL was definitely a um, new experience, and I would say a different type of challenge um, versus other things that have gone on throughout my career. Um, but really, you know, I feel like it's just about having a positive mindset and uh, continuing continuing to push forward um, regardless of the circumstances and. You know, I think that's what we're going to do this weekend in our last game. <laughs> All right, we have time for two more, so we'll go with Daniel and then Bob. Hey, Joe. Uh, you know, when you look back at the past couple of months, you know, playing football um, in the pandemic, um, what will stand out to you, you know, the most about this experience of playing in these times when you look back on it? Mm, I mean, this year in general, um, just everything about, you know, being around the building, um, how many things are different. It's just been a total – totally different experience um it's kind of taken away obviously from our time together as teammates and uh, what we can do outside of the building and um even in the building um the way we have to distance and stuff um but you know it's kind of really just taught us you know we have to adjust um the league and every team individually every person individually you just had to kind of adjust this year um depending on what no matter what was thrown our way uh, so i think that's something that we can learn from and you know, if there ever is another pandemic, we'll be ready, so. <laughs> All right, we have time for one more right here with Bob, and then we'll get Quez Watkins. Hey, Joe. Um, probably hoped you would get a chance to play a lot earlier, but uh, it, it, does it get any better than this to go out like this? Uh, you'll be on, you know, Sunday night football. There'll be a huge audience because of the game. Can you talk about that? And, I mean, you're going to get a chance to be seen by a lot of people. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I haven't heard, you know, officially yet, but I'm definitely preparing to play this week. And, um, yeah, if I am out there, um, you know, I'm going to give it my all no matter what, you know, no matter what the scoreboard is, you know, no matter what our situation is. Obviously, we are out of the playoffs now, but um, that's not going to take away from any of the intensity that we bring or I know any of the intensity that I, I'm going to bring personally. Um, 
I'm going to play like I have everything to play for, and I know my teammates are going to do the same. Uh, so we're excited to get out there one more time and play together. Um, we know that things are going to look different going into next year. So this is our last go-around together, um, you know. So we're going to go out there and enjoy it together one last time.